Lagos-based lawyer and public activist Dele Farutumi on Saturday said that Alaji Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, would have to rig massively in the southwest, south-south, and southeast geopolitical zones to win the 2023 election. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Wow. So somebody said that um, Atiku will have to rig in the South South, South West, and South East geopolitical zones to win the 2023 election. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how it goes now. If Atiku likes, he can go ahead and rig his election, and not only the election, he will fail. I do not like him. Hmm. So you're voting for him because you don't like him. You see, there's something about this 2023 election. It's not about the candidate that you like. It's about the candidate that can deliver. If you in the past have been voting for candidate that you like, then I think you have to have a change. You have to you think you I think you have to you need a change. It is a candidate that is actually going to deliver, a candidate that is going to come and make Nigeria better, a candidate that is going to have or he has the interest of Nigeria. And Nigerians at heart. All right. Please let's stop. If God wanted for any politician in Nigeria, God doesn't support evil. If they win any election, it's their father that gave them the post and not God. Uh, it is true. That is why I keep saying, you know, people who are who bring uh, God into their issues. Mm-mm, that's not right. It is certainly not right at all. Do you know that? The northerners do not have any moral rights to come outside and even contest for election, you know, this this particular period. Why? Because a northerner is actually on the seat. Because a northerner is on the seat. We have a northerner who has been ruling Nigeria and the, the northerner is about to round up. So sincerely, if you, are, if you are going to be anything fair and just, we should not even be voting for these people. The PDP, they did not, they did not do well. Sincerely, I don't know what really happened though. Um, not just the PDP, political parties, most especially those ones that we call the major political parties, they are not coming out to run elections so that Nigerians can can have, you know, a change or an, or can have better government. What they are interested is in actually that they want um, to snatch back power from the APC. Because tell me why would the People Democratic Party, why would they have to come out to present a Northerner when a Northerner is on seat? It is totally, totally uncalled for. It is un- uncalled for. So the PDP, they're already going against the federal character. They're going against everything right. They're even going against their own constitution. Tell me if a particular political party comes out without even respecting its own constitution, then how do we, how do we how are we sure that they are going to actually come out and respect Nigeria's constitution? Even the so called all progressive Congress, they themselves they picked a Muslim Muslim ticket. If you are going by equity, fairness and justice, I tell you sincerely I did be in Nigeria's democracy. So if you want to even keep going by equity, fairness and justice now, sincerely, without people even coming out to say Atiku Abubakar will win here and here and here. Look, had it been Nigeria practices a democracy that is clean, let's say, uh, uh, how, how, how am I going to put it right now? Which English I'll, I'll go use to describe them. Had it been will practice what I call after the post election period, as in the post um, election period, we practice what I call. Equity, fairness, and justice, and all ramifications. We obey the rule of law. I'm telling you, sincerely. You see this nothing us? They're not going to even smell that shit. I did tell you. Apart from, I'm even saying, okay, let us even be, let us even say, okay, Atiko, had they been? But some people will still come and vote for those people. That is a problem. And had it been, eh? PDP now, they brought the nothing that comes in and is convincing enough 
is somebody who is young, self, that that person is competent. I am telling you, hmm? people don't even think twice. Or maybe, had it been the Northerners themselves, hmm? they, 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 this was not an empower, that they actually did well. The Northerners that have been in power actually did so beautifully well. I did tell you, if another Northerner comes out, Nigeria, we no go, we no go even, you not hear even from me. I will not even say anything. Had it been a educational system, is fine. Had it been an economy, it's fine. That's it. This, our, we are safe. We don't have to look over our backs. We don't have to, you know, have our, our hearts in our mouths every time we're going out. The Northerners do not, this, the security is perfect. At least it's, it's 90% perfect. What are you telling me? Had it been things were going this smoothly? Look, if another not gonna come, we go talk and see. We go look the person, look the person, assess the person, and we're going to give that. I am telling you, I've even kept I kept saying it that look, whichever particular region comes out and really work, like they work to that, I will be say they work. They are not the only ones seeing it. They work and they were able to do a whole lot of work that we, the lecturers, are now feeling that they are working. We they see the, the signs of selling the work in different sector, even if not two, three, or four sectors. I am telling you, that particular region, if they finish the eight years, eh? If it talks, okay, make this person come and, and that political party. Are you seeing it? But uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, it's not like that. That is why we are not all about okay, give somebody else a chance. In my own opinion, to be very sincere with you, nothing, just you guys from the north are actually the poverty capital from Nigeria. With all the power of the northern politicians, what has been the benefit to the masses in the north? Zero. I am telling you, apart from the fact, okay, eh, eh, what's it called? Apart from the fact that these people have been on the power seat, do you know that their human development is zero point zero 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 one? I am. It's not even up to one. If you go to the north, you see things. You see the governors building things, but you you know, just like if you carry person where they mentally down, as in where they mentally retarded. If you carry them all the way from Nigeria. Carry and go abroad. If they mentally retarded, it will remain. If you carry someone that have been brainwashed with acts of terrorism in this country and take the person to another country, the person will still find a way to be doing that because except that person meets a counselor, they start getting to talk and they start wanting to break or wanting to wanting to you know reach him by making sure that you know he he, he sees what he's doing as wrong. That person will go change. So apart from the fact that this person is coming out to say, ah, the not to they are coming out to say the not uh, uh, they will not win. I think we will not win South East. These things are also um, uh, should I say these things are also all the problems that they are going to be facing. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And